Alrighty, I'm going to show you this little cat house we got. And uh, before I even get started, I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, before people, <laughs> I know they're going to say, uh, I could build a cat house, yes. I could build, you can build anything you want. But uh, a lot of people can't. A lot of people don't have the tools. A lot of people don't have the ability to. So I, this is something that if you live somewhere, you don't have any place to build anything. If you live somewhere that you uh, uh, can't get things, if you just can't do things, some people don't want to do things, um, this would be for you. Uh, it's a really nice little uh, setup, and uh, the manufacturer is in the top three of uh, prefab animal houses. They make um, ch uh, dog houses, chicken houses, rabbit hutches, uh, cat houses, such as that. And uh, I know I've had some bad comments before about selling out to foreign-made products and stuff. But uh, this one had good reviews. I'm sure, I know it is made in China, but it had good reviews. It's one of the top sellers, this brand is. A lot of other good channels have reviewed this same brand, such as uh, Deep South Homestead, done a chicken coop. And uh, I just thought this was something I could use, or my cat miner could use. And a few out there uh, need an animal house and you can't build one, uh, this might be for you. Um, if I was to try to build one that looked like this, it would take me a lot longer than, I think it's took me about 10, 15 minutes to put this together. Um, I could spend a day probably uh, trying to put something together like this. So uh, this is just a quick way to get you something that you need without spending a ton of money and time. So appreciate y'all watching. Hope you stick around for this, this video. We're also going to show you some other things around the place, uh, getting some other animals ready for winter as well. All righty, folks. It's getting fall time. It's kind of a chilly day here today. And you see I got my coat on. And uh, Mr. Uh, Miner here, this is our one-eyed uh, fat cat. It's going to start getting cold and uh, he needs a good warm place to sleep. So uh, he's been sleeping on our porch with a little uh, blanket, but it just ain't warm enough for him. He's getting old. So uh, we got this cat house here today we're going to be putting together. And uh, this one here is a two-level cat house. It's uh, got a, um, a house on the top and a bottom. We've got a little porch on it, and uh, it should do really good for him. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to unbox this, check it all out, and uh, see how it looks. This thing arrived really quick. It was shipped in less than a week and uh, sitting on my porch. So we're going to open it up and give her a once-over. Everything seems to be really well packaged. Here's our bag of uh, our screws and a little hardware, and uh, they're all labeled and separated. Here we have uh, one of our roofing panels. Um, this one here has an asphalt shingle roof, and uh, interested to see how this goes together. As most of y'all know, I am a carpenter. Okay, here's a, a piece of it here. It also, it came with these little uh, door flaps here to uh, keep out the wind and the weather. That's your little porch rail.
miner's already exploring it once. This is our finished product. Really cute little cat house here. Got two little steps there for them to jump up onto the top porch and they can lay there in the shade. It's got a really big downstairs here. Got this little flapper over the door. Got another door there. Um, here's the inside of it. This is on hinges and this raises up. You can leave this separate if you want to where it's its own space. They can only come in here or you can take this section out, which is probably what I'll do. Then they can come and go from the top to the bottom any way they want to. So I'll probably do it like that, but we'll see what the cat likes. It's got um, a, a coat of uh, water-based paint on it. I will say the paint isn't real thick. Um, if this is going to be left outside in the weather, I would probably uh, maybe put a little waterproof caulking, painter's caulk around these joints and probably paint it again. And I probably will paint it to match my house just so it looks good around the place. But I would also fill in these screw holes, make it a little more waterproof. The top has a um, shingles on it, a uh, asphalt roofing. And uh, another thing I'm gonna do, I will fill in these screw holes. There's four screw holes on this panel, end of the shingles, and I will put a silicone on this, and as well as on these. But this one here don't have any screws in it, but this wood is exposed. But uh, if it's painted well, I mean, you'll get some time out of it. All in all, it's a nice little cat house. Really easy to put together. Like I said, it took me maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. Uh, really easy. You could use a screwdriver if that's all you had. I used a drill, made it really fast. Done a good job. All the parts was labeled with letters and went with the instructions really easy. Um, I think our cat will like this this winter. We'll put him a bed down in here in the bottom. Got a really nice spacious bottom in it and all the floors are removable. I'll show you that again too. This comes right out of here. So you can uh, get in here, clean, do whatever you need to do, put the bed in there. Um, them bottom panels, they also come out. So, really easy to get in here. Now we know a 20 pound cat can fit through the door. Can't you, old son? We'll put his little bed in there, and I think he'll be happy. What do you think? Well, Mr. Miner's getting used to this little cat house here, and I think he likes the porch. He's liking, uh, he's really liked laying out here, and he's liked rubbing on that post. He's getting used to those doors too. He's going in and out some. So we'll probably set this over here on our porch and uh, he will, uh, looks like he's gonna really enjoy it. I do have a link in the description for these. If you're interested, check them out. If not, no pressure either way. But Mr. Miner does approve. All right, we got our hay all in the barn. Got to put this tarp back on. But we have got 28 rolls in here. Some really nice hay. So this ought to do all winter for the one horse and three cows. And uh, I think this was a really good spot. Tractors made it a lot easier to feed. That Kubota sure has helped move these four by five rolls around. I can move them anywhere I want to. I just keep them low to the ground. 
does a really good job with them. Got to have some weight on the back though. One more thing before winter it gets cold. I got this water tank up here. This is an old bathtub from a horse. And uh, I got to put my de-icer in here. Uh, it ain't froze yet, but it won't be long. It'll start freezing over. So I'll go ahead and put it in the tank. That way, all I got to do is plug it up. I've got a power cord running out here from my electric fence. So I'll just uh, plug it up. And I'll probably put me a little splitter on the end of it. And uh, normally, I'll put a bucket on the top of this post and put my cord in a bucket. Uh, keep the weather off of it. But I want to go ahead and put it in place here. That way it's ready to go. Don't have to wait till it gets cold and it freezes over to do it. I'll probably, uh, one warm day, I'll take and spray all this out, clean her up good, and uh, be ready for the winter.